it's Tuesday, November 2nd. I'm Erin Rael, and you're watching West Fair's News at Noon. We start today in New Rochelle, where the New Rochelle Industrial Development Agency approved a $29.3 million tax break for two apartment buildings that are expected to cost $172 million to build. The overall project will be known as Westchester Place after the name of the street that will become a pedestrian passageway connecting all three structures. Plans call for creating 524 apartments, roughly 8,000 square feet of retail space, and a parking garage. The project is expected to create 150 construction jobs, eight full-time positions, and two part-time positions. Allstate Capital of Monroe in Orange County is the developer. In Connecticut, online sports betting is off to a very strong start. According to data software and cybersecurity firm GeoComply, 38% of Connecticut's betting activity is coming from the southwestern corner of the state along the I-95 corridor. Heavy volumes have been concentrated in Stanford and Bridgeport, while other highway entry points stretching north along the New York border have also been hotspots. Since the state's initial soft launch, there have been over 1.2 million transactions. And with a population of just over 3.5 million, Connecticut has already ranked itself as ninth in terms of overall online sports betting and casino traffic, having surpassed Colorado, which has a much larger population of 5.7 million. Renaissance Capital is relocating its headquarters from Greenwich to Stanford as they take over an almost 3,000 square foot office space located at First Stanford Place. Renaissance Capital provides pre-IPO institutional research and management of IPO-focused investment products. And finally, the Connecticut Department of Revenue Services has opened its 2021 tax amnesty program, offering individuals and businesses the opportunity to pay back taxes at a reduced interest rate and no penalties. The program, which runs through January 31st of 2022, provides a 75% reduction in interest and waives penalties. It also reduces the possibility of criminal prosecution to those who have not filed or have underreported or existing liabilities related to any tax period ending on or before December 31st of 2020. That is your News at Noon update. I'm Erin Rael, and I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place.